Hi, I'm Alexander, Safari Curator, and I help you choose the best safaris and stays in Southern and East Africa. The first tip in choosing your stay, apart from the obvious star rating and quality, is to decide how much you're willing to spend per night before you start your search. This has great bearing on your choice, as in South Africa, you're looking at around spending from 550 US dollars per person per night and upwards, and a five-star hotel or luxury lodge. Number two is probably the most important part of your decision making, is choosing the right location. Usually, luxury safari lodges are available within private reserves or private concession reserves. So if you're planning and choosing, the general rule is to aim for South Africa's Mpumalanga or Limpopo province. That is in the far north of the country bordering Mozambique and along the Panorama route, which is also famous. One strategy is to pick a safari reserve, then to choose a lodge within that reserve. Now, picking a reserve has an immediate bearing on the next tip, which is number three. What type of safari experience are you looking for? And this is directly related to the type of animals and wildlife you wish to see on your safari. Apart from the typical big five options, lion, leopard, elephant, buffalo, giraffe, just kidding, rhinoceros, there are tons of the usual antelope species and small game, and of course the bird kingdom. This I find is the real reason at looking at fulfilling your African safari dream are the beautiful animals and wildlife that you wish to see here. The fourth tip is to try and figure out what type of traveler you are, the private traveler, slow traveler, energetic, because most safari lodging centers around themes and things that you can experience, like bushwalks, game drives in the early morning or in the evening. Animals can't be rushed or appear when you want them to. Things like having an experienced field guide accompany you is essential because they can educate you on the bush felt and sometimes include you some bushcraft and understand animal behavior. So this is an extremely educational experience if that's something that you're looking for. My fifth tip is to choose the correct time of year to view our wildlife because the time of year is important. Rainy seasons, hot weather means that animals are hiding in the shade. Also, lambing seasons or the reproductive seasons in the bushveld. This is important because you have young animals around and that adds all new dynamic. For more specifics, follow my channel at Alexander Hart ZA. Now, it is best to ask us which is the best time to travel here according to your safari schedule and we will to advise you. You can also visit our website at alexanderza.com and you can chat to me personally on the WhatsApp number over there.